Corbin's got number two on his wall. How did it get there? Why'd you slow down there for a moment? He does. He has number two on his wall. Oh, yeah. It's I've, weird. I can't smell it from over I here. Had a giant, I had a giant two, and I had to fling it on the wall real fast. It's impressive. You going to keep that up there like a work of art? At least a little while. Then like, yeah. I clean everything up. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. <laughs> yeah, of Corbin. I'm Rick Leland turned two. So there's a number two for the birthday celebration for clarity on what's going on. <laughs> like, there's what? birthday things up. And so since Leland turned two, there's a big number two up there. And I turned it into a joke. Uh, oh. Maybe that'll make Run Veer come be on the channel with us. Will it? Will it? We know you're watching us like a hawk. What? Come on, man. <laughs> Got your freaking song and movie inked into my arm. Next week, he's going to remove it. No. No. Okay. Uh, well, ah, eh, I might. Run Beer doesn't. We want, and we want you to really come painful. to L.A. Like, you and Topeka come to L.A. Let's have a party. Big party. Anyways, today uh, we got uh, a new trailer that dropped. This is Anush, uh, Ayushman Karana and Vani K. Uh, and it's called Chandigarh Kari Ashki. And uh, dude, coming out December tenth, it looks like. Yeah, that's all I know. I don't really know. All right, uh, it's a T series production, uh, so you know the songs are gonna be good. Yeah, better than a T Rex. You ever heard them sing? Hmm. Good. Terrible compared to T series. Oh wow. Well. Yeah. T series awesome. is way better. If I wasn't wearing a T top, riding a T Rex, listening to T series music. I'd be a triple threat. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, totally. Sorry, I wasn't listening. What'd you say? I'm sorry, did you say something? No. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Sex. Oh. A certified fitness provider. Jazzal Polio Weight Loop. Top 10 gyms in Amrit and Beagle Kid. Sorry, do you have a good career? Delay for Nature, you have a good career. 
Don't know. The, you know. I do know I want to see this. He, even though we've seen, I think we've seen a, a, a decent, like, maybe five, I guess. Probably um, five, four um, or five. Um, a new, a, 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 a Usman. Uh, Chronophums, and he's a really good actor. Yes, he's he got is. one ripped for this. Oh, Absolutely. my stars, did he get in shape for this? Shredded. Yep. But he always chooses films that are, they seem like big mass films for big, like, everyone to go. Right. They always have this underlying, deeper message. Yep, a social message. Different from how, like, Amir does it. His films have, a, right. a, a, like, a, a big message. But his are, like, he takes these taboo subject matters. Yeah, that's the difference, is that yeah. Amir Khan will take a broader thing that's a universal truth mm -hmm. and remind everybody about the universal truth. Yeah. He gets a bit more pinpointed about a very particular thing and points about the moral compass surrounding that particular yeah, issue. Yeah, like, we've seen... Uh, mm, what was it called? Um, Badaiho, right? Yeah. Wait, so it's a, the family uh, and that whole thing. Uh, and I think it was him marrying, like it was the, how families treated or like each other when somebody was trying to marry from the outside or something. Like yeah. That. What was the last one that he did where it was him and, an, and a guy? Uh, uh, I forgot what that was called. It was just, it was a, it was a rom-com with him and a guy. Was it? Yeah. But we never watched it. We like, I think we reacted to the trailer and it came and went. I don't know what happened to it. Um, I, it was just before COVID, if I'm remembering and correctly. Then I know he does the the one with uh, Vicky Donner, which is the right. sperm donor. Sperm donor. donor. Um, and, so he, and then obviously he's done other ones like... Um, um... Come back, Corbin. Come back. He's glitching. He's glitching. Article 15. Yes, Article 15. Article 15. Yeah, that was a great movie. Um, but for those of you who don't know my reference, one the, the twist that came and I mentioned Kubra... I was referring to Kubra Sate. We have interviewed her. You can search touched. her. Um, she's awesome. Follow her on Instagram. She, I want to see her new thing that she's done as yeah, well. Yeah, looks cute. But she is in Sacred Games, and that was where we were first introduced to her. And she plays a similar kind of role as to what is portrayed playing opposite a Ayushman in this. Yeah. Um, I'm very interested. It looks super interesting. Looks interesting, um, funny. Yeah, it's, it looks like a big mass Bollywood film, but one well, the performances are good. Uh, yeah, thankfully. but that's it, also like it's going to have a deeper underlying message of obviously this this person I believe is either trans or she's transitioning or, or right. something of that ilk, and they're basically just making people force because a lot of people like to ignore these types of um, is, issues. I don't know if it's the right word, uh, but like these taboo sub you know, subject, subject, I guess. Yeah, taboo subject um, that's not typically discussed, and that's the thing is he doesn't just talk about them he hits them head on mm -hmm. um i don't know if it was the first movie to do it but and i've referenced this film before with a similar topic if you've never seen a film called the crying game it's completely different from this it's a drama but it's the first film in my memory in hollywood that directly tackled the subject matter mm. and it was a everybody was saying about the crying game you know if you went and saw it don't tell other people what the spoiler is and so you went into it blind you had no idea what was coming and then you're watching it and then you realize what it is not for the kids mm. but it's a it's a really powerful drama with this similar subject matter yeah, i'm interested there's in there's a show called sex education that, that oh how uh, is that it's so good i've heard of it, take, good. it takes lots of taboo subject matters um so especially of the current generation yeah that they're okay with speaking out about this kind of stuff but there's one relationship there there's this guy who he considers himself a straight man. And then there's this girl, well, sorry, there's this, uh, I think she goes by they, them, I think it's her pronouns. But he ends up uh, falling for sorry, them. them. Yeah. Um, and, but she asked him, she was like, if we do this, you're gonna be in a queer relationship. Are you okay with that? And right. so 
he that was it was like a whole thing of him thing grappling him. with that. He's like, I don't consider myself queer and, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm, but I'm sure they're going to go over different subjects. And what I love about films like this is, is it takes you, this is what Crying Game did. <clears throat> it takes you on a journey where you, let's say, for example, like myself, you're a heterosexual male, right? Mm -hmm. And you're uh, getting connected to your uh, protagonist here with uh, Ayushman and you're rooting for the couple, mm -hmm. and you really like them, you see their chemistry, and you're rooting for the couple, and you actually can see why he's attracted to her. Like they did this shot of her butt, and you know, mm -hmm. they're giving you all the things to make you as the audience connect and be turned on to her, mm -hmm. and then they flip the switch on you, and puts you in the position of, now you are the protagonist. Yep. What gonna are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna judge the protagonist now? You have to admit, you were attracted to her too. Mm -hmm. And now what are you going to do? Because you're in the same position as the... Is I love he, movies like that. Is he going to be an okay with being in that type of relationship? Yep. Is he going to be like, I'm, I don't think that is who I am? So right. there's, there's, obviously none of that's wrong, but if you treat a different person a different way, be, then that becomes an issue. Obviously yeah. not everybody's going to be in that kind of relationship or want to be in that kind Correct. of relationship. And it's, it's all part of the human experience. Like I remember when I first so started... You always treat people... With, with dignity and respect, whether you agree with them or not, mm -hmm. because that's one of the things that I always pointed out to Ashley, Alexis, and Michael when they were growing up was, was like even if even if people don't understand or they don't agree, don't stand there and judge the other person because how would you feel if when you looked at someone who was of the same sex, you felt the way you do when you look at someone who's the opposite sex if you're mm -hmm. hetero? You think they're making that up? Mm -hmm. You think they're like. They're just doing that to piss off society. Yeah. You think they genuinely are shutting down emotions for the opposite sex and making up emotions. Yeah. They they can't help the fact that that's how they feel. Yeah. So I'm super interested. I would love to actually talk to Yushman, uh, obviously. Yeah. So if, if you're watching, man, I would love to have you on the channel uh, and become our dost. Uh, but yeah, this looks super, super interesting. Let us know. And also, I know he's part of this film, which I, I, I know a lot about. Uh, Borelli Kibarfi. Which he's in it, Rajkumar Rao, and uh, Creedy... Son, and did we react to that trailer? Yes. I thought so. Uh, but it's with, uh, she's from Mimi. Yeah. I remember. Uh, so it's a, a and Raj and Kumar Rao. Pankaj. And Pankaj. Oh, yeah. I think this is like a love film, so maybe it's good for February. Who knows? Uh, you guys can let us know. Ooh. Uh, but, oh, I don't want to wait that long. Yeah, I know. Uh, but you, let us know if that one's worth a watch, and let us know about this film. What should be our next Ayushman Karana film that we should watch? Let us know down below. Josh!